Welcome to module number two, Key Steps for Successful Delegation. This has been extracted from the managers to get the 13 skills managers need to succeed. HBR review, press page 67. So what are the 10 steps for successful delegation? First one is define the task. What do you mean by define the task? We need to confirm or reaffirm whether the task on hand or the project on hand is suitable for delegating delegation. Does the task on hand meet the criteria for successful delegation? Certain tasks cannot be delegated. For example, if the company wants to conduct an inquiry through the legal department, and the legal department has only two qualified inquiry officers and two of them are not in station. So they go to the third person who is not qualified, but who's handling other chores. So if you delegate this task to this unqualified person, the task would become null and void. Therefore, here what the important key thing is to be noted is we need to define the task and we need to also define whether the task on hand is suitable for a delegation. So that is very, very crucial. The second step is to select the individual. What are the reasons for selecting this employee? As a part of the selection process, determine how both the employee and the organization will benefit why the organization has chosen this employee when many are there, whether the person selected is the right person, whether we have delegated the task to the right person, right person for the right job at the right time. Therefore, the individual employee and the organization would benefit. Third one is to assess ability and training needs. Does the person identified have the skill sets required to be successful? Can he or she grasp what needs to be done? If not, you cannot proceed. That is whether the identified, selected individual employee has the required knowledge, skills, abilities, or attitudes to carry out or execute the delegated task, activity, or project. If the selected individual employee does not possess the required competencies, then the organization cannot proceed with delegation. The fourth important point is to state required results. What is the deliverable outcome expected to look like? When the task is completed, how it will look like? Here the organization will have to visualize this. What is the expected result? what must be achieved and when, in what time frame, that is very important. How will the task be measured? What are the metrics? Tell the employee upfront how you will determine his or her level or degree of success. The fifth key step for successful delegation is to identify the required resources for the delegated task. Discuss and agree on resources required to complete the job. All relevant resources should be taken into consideration, including staffing, that is the number of people required. It is not headcount. This includes the right person for the right job at the right time. Physical space, equipment, materials, inventory, storage, and other related activities and services. The competition for resources in the organization is intense and scarce. Then obviously, allocation of resources will take a backseat. And therefore, the delegated task cannot be accomplished successfully. Therefore, before dele delegating a project or a task or an activity, the organization will have to identify the required essential resources and allot the resources appropriately for successful accomplishment of the bigger picture. The sixth point is to explain why. 
which means put the task or responsibility into context and explain the reason why it is being delegated to the concerned employee talk about why the employee is given the task and chosen over and above others and where it fits in the overall scheme of things how she or he will contribute to the delegated task and how he or she is connected to the vision mission of the organization if the concerned employee knows the importance of the delegated task or project then she or she will feel delighted and contribute to the maximum extent possible in the accomplishment of the objective therefore explaining why is a very important step among these 10 st steps the seventh key step for successful delegation is to agree upon a schedule establish action plan milestones so what are the milestones we will achieve month wise date wise etc and review for routine progress evaluation and feedback failure to agree on such a schedule in advance will cause the review process to be viewed as interference or a lack of trust instead of management practice which means if you don't agree upon a schedule or if you don't agree to review the periodical progress it instills a lack of confidence in the management and a lack of trust in the management among employees the eighth one is to support and communicate if we have delegated a task to an individual we will have to support him at any extent and also communicate suppose the human resource department has delegated a task of rolling out the competency framework hr initiative in the organization then the hr head should discuss with other managers and inform that such a project is going to be implemented for this initiative we need your support over mail and in person or through a team meeting therefore the person who is interested with this project will get the required support when she or he meets the concerned department heads or hodes the ninth key step for successful delegation is to provide timely feedback on results so the organization manager or the leader will have to recognize and applaud the employee assigned the project for successes by the same token one should also assess failures so that reasons can be turned into opportunities for learning and risk avoidance in future the last step for successful delegation is to repeat the entire process from serial number 1 to serial number 9 this step involves repeating the cycle but with a renewed sense of vigor and commitment each time a project is completed one has to evaluate what went well what went wrong the manager should attempt to engage the employee in a task that is incrementally more challenging than the previous one with this it's a wrap on module number 2 let us get into module number 3 thank you